Hello, everybody, and welcome to the podcast. This is a new podcast from myself, Jake Johnson, and Mr. Dr. Gareth Reynolds. Hi, everybody. I'll be the PhD. No, I'm a regular guy. I think everybody assumed that you were a regular guy. Well, <laughs> you didn't there have two to people say. who were like, this guy sounds clinical. I oh, that's just want true. To make Actually, sure you're right. We're yeah. at the same spot. And the name of the podcast is We're Here to Help. And the premise of this podcast is Go, Garfi. Basically, we uh, get calls with problems and we do our best to offer advice and hopefully help solve them. But we really make no guarantees. We're very clear about that. We might be way off base. It might be bad advice, but um, we like to say we're kind of like your tipsy uncles at a bar. I think that's correct. And we've done a bunch of these already. We're doing the intro after we've taken about 40 odd calls. And what we've realized is the more serious the call, the less likely it is we can help. And the more trivial and ridiculous the problem, then you got a fighting chance with us. Because if you're listening to this for actual advice or for human growth, or to learn something, I do believe you've come to the wrong place. Yeah, but uh, if you do find yourself here, we again, we will try. I mean, we've had a couple of serious calls, and, you know, we've definitely tried to help, but... Uh, we've sometimes done even, okay. I think we've sometimes yeah, done Yeah, I was okay. just going to say, I don't know what our success rate is, but we've definitely had some successes. I will say, from listening back to a couple of them and knowing you and I, we act as if our success rate's about 100%. I definitely think there's a swagger we don't deserve, but we've had that forever. (laughs) Both of us independently together have always sort of, I mean, when you think about our careers, there's a lot of times where we were running purely on self-propagandized fumes. I think it's fair to say that uh, for two very medium talented guys, we have given advice to ourselves to maximize the little natural born talent we have. So, you know, as we're doing this, we definitely want more people to reach out. And so if you really, I mean, if you have a problem and it's serious to you, that is really what matters to us. Even if it seems trivial or That's strange, right. we have an email. It's here to help at gmail.com. That is not oh, no, it, it's, Garfi. It's it we're here to helpful. help. What is it? Helpful pod. Okay. Helpful pod at gmail.com. So this is a perfect example of how this podcast is going. We, we had one uh, goal on. in this intro. Come on. That Come was on. just let's, <laughs> let's keep it tight. The email is helpfulpod at gmail.com. Yeah. That is That's helpfulpod at gmail.com. And it actually I now know why nobody's responding to me from that email because I I've been emailing the show a bunch <laughs> and kind of wondering what the hell's going on, but I guess I've been hitting the wrong one. Uh really quickly, a little backstory about uh the Garf man and myself. We met about 16 years ago. We were both improvisers in beautiful Los Angeles. We were at the Improv Olympic at the time. Uh, Both of us in our little groups of friends were the guy who made the worst decision. Is that fair to say? I think so. I mean, that's basically the story you're about to launch into, I think, is proof of that. And then we all met at a bar. The bar was the Rustic Inn in... uh, Los Feliz, yeah. And everybody was talking, and Gareth and I got next to each other, and we had had one too many cocktails. And for no reason, I said to Gareth, hey, man, why don't we pour our drinks on our own heads? And without hesitation, the Garf man put his beer up above his head in like a game of chicken, and I did the same thing. And while making direct eye contact, we each poured a beer over our own head. And in our eyes, we both knew... Bad decision, but there was a spark of like, yeah. wow, we both just went this far. It was like we were looking in a very dumb mirror. And <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And throughout our careers, we always call each other and we give each other advice and we're both open to it. We like viewing the other guy as like a just somebody who, no matter what is happening, the other guy is on, in your corner. If you're a boxer, that's your corner man. That's somebody who wants you to win, even if you're in the wrong. And so the idea of this kind of podcast is for our callers, even if you're in the wrong, we're on your team and we're going to help try to get you out of it. And that's kind of been the fun of this podcast so far. Yeah, I think sometimes even with our own personal advice to each other, sometimes it's either it's good to prove what you want to do to someone or it's good to hear a bad take to go, yeah, you know, my take's not that awful, actually. I think that's right. So, so maybe our advice is the bad advice, but it helps. And then what we've also done on this that we've really enjoyed is some of our callers keep calling back and following up. So 
Um, you're going to see certain journeys, which have turned out to be really funny. And uh, yeah, we hope you check out our podcast and all that. You've, you're already checking it out. Gareth, yeah, get us out of here, buddy. You, get us out of here. I'm, well, uh, well I'm, I'm the guy who doesn't know the email, so relax. Uh, I think, you know, the best thing to do with this sort of stuff is, uh, you know, share the podcast, subscribe to the podcast. We're going to do it every week. And um, yeah, and if you have a problem, it's helpfulpod at gmail.com, despite what some people are saying. And yeah, we're really excited. We really think the show is super fun. So, uh, so thank you for listening. So now get ready for our first caller. And uh, now you're about to hear some very cool transition music. So this is Jake and Gareth. You're on We're Here to Help, and we are here to try to help. So can we start with your uh, first name, please? Uh, yes, I'm Shannon. Shannon. How you doing, Shannon? Hi, Shannon. I'm doing splendid. How about you guys? Good. Good. And where are you from, Shannon? I'm from uh, Bloomington, Indiana. Sure. Okay. The Hoosiers. Yeah. That's where you're living now? Uh-huh. Why are you calling in today? What can we uh, try to help you with? I'm trying to achieve some level of nerd clout. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. You've and... already got it. You've already done it. You're <laughs> Thank already <there>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Call over, Shannon. You've won. Yeah, You've won. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. That's entry okay. level. Okay, keep, entry you're level. right. Oh, okay. right. I need okay. to get the clout. <laughs> okay. And okay. in order to get clout in Dungeons and Dragons, you have to to have like a raw theater kid energy okay. that I believe personally <laughs> is enhanced greatly by having a passable accent. Oh, wow. I think all this is right. Yeah. I've decided to give my character a German accent and I practiced <laughs> and I was under the impression that it was a passable German accent. Okay. First of all, where is, is your accent that you're using right now? Is that an Indiana accent? It feels very Southern. I think it's just white trash accent. Okay, because I'm from Chicago, and I've been all throughout Indiana, and this feels, that feels like a lot for Indiana. I or, thought you were the Dungeons and Dragons character until you revealed you were going German. Yeah, I'm really doing method. Okay, all right, we're loving this, Shannon. Sure. So this is your natural accent. You're very Southern, and you have a, you're looking to get more clout in the nerd community of D&D. &D. You have a German accent as your character, you feel like it's playing. Okay. Is that, are we all caught mm -hmm. up to there? Okay, yeah. Keep going, please. I'm consumed with the delusion that I'm doing a good job. Great. And according to my friends at the table, it, it leans more Muppety than huh. German, which is not really the flavor I'm going for. I suppose okay. if I started with the intention of having a Muppet character, then I'd be thrilled. But since that wasn't the direction I was going for, it was a bit disappointing. I'll bottom line the worst case, and then we'll mm -hmm. try to get the best case. But the worst case is your character is now a Muppet. But let's go <laughs> nobody, for... But nobody wants that. So first of all, before we hear the accent, uh, can you describe your character a little bit? Can you tell us about her? Uh, yeah. So I've, I've created her as sort of an anti-Frankenstein, okay. where, in you know, Frankenstein... She's made from living parts. <laughs> well, Noel Frankenstein, he's afraid of death, so he seeks to conquer death by reanimating a corpse. My, my anti-Frankenstein, she absolutely hates necromancers. And if she sees we a ghost do. or a zombie... Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty... She's like an every woman. She hates zombies, sure. she hates necromancers, hates ghosts. Yeah. So I, I just want to be clear, this show, both of us, <laughs> we're anti-necromance. We're I never... Think most people are. Yeah, okay. I think that's so a, you've that pulls a, high. So you've created a character that's just German. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she likes going for walks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, so, what, uh, so what else about uh, this uh, German anti-Frankenstein can we can we uh, learn? She's still a doctor, doctor not Frankenstein, okay. and she is supposed to have something of a severe German. I don't know. Imagine like the meanest gymnastics coach, you know. Oh, she's, you know like, how we she's all tough. Know like sure, yeah, 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 yeah. She's tough. So you're you're yeah. kind of like you're you're like a dominant figure in the game. But a muppet. And you're not meant to be a muppet, to be clear. Not meant to be a muppet. So your question, your your reason for calling in, is mm -hmm. help with the accent. 
Yes, because the Muppet that I'm bringing to the table does yeah. not align mm-hmm. with the level of like edgy goth that I'm going for. So then let me ask you a quick question before we get into it. You're, I can't wait to hear it. Jake, know, you're really I, edging me right I, now. I, I, got, I, got, I need to set the table. I'm sorry. Okay. So the other players at the table mm-hmm. who you play with, what are their characters? It's a school setting. So we have, you know, a, a bard and a goblin bard and an, sure. an orc cleric and a barbarian, you know. Yeah, so far, I mean, the, just so far, everything that I would picture if I yeah. picture a school. Yeah. Like Set, Dungeons and uh-huh. Dragons. Yeah. yeah. It, but do mm-hmm. they, uh, do, are any of them from anywhere in Europe? <laughs> no, no, they're, they're not. All from, they're all from Indiana. They're all American. Okay, so sure. their okay. voices are just, so you decided, Shannon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to add to this group of uh, goblins, American is, mm-hmm. goblins, <laughs> American goblins is some German flair. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Here's the okay. thing. Huh? Talk to us. Okay. I'm not the I'm not <laughs> the only one going for the theater kid nerd clout here. So three of us decided we were going to try for an accent. One person oh. hit the ejector seat so instantly. Just okay. so, so instantly got one sentence out and was like, I can't. The dignity is not there. God bless Where were them. they from? Yeah. She was trying to do a southern accent. And she's what? from you, the so south. You, and you have a southern her. accent. We're, we're, the lines are crossed here. This is. Okay. So she tried to do southern and said no. She jumped ship so immediately. Just instantly. Okay. What was the other and one? And then. Uh, an Irish accent that does lean Shrek a little bit, but it's actually pretty solid most of the time. So she sticks with the Irish. Yes. And how does the group respond to her? I think because of the success of the accent, her character has become like the team Damn leader, it. cool kid of Damn the group. It. God, Shannon, you live in a movie yeah. plot. This, Shannon, is, yeah, this is dungeon. You are. You're right yeah. now. This is your. This is you're a the night, lower tier. Yeah, this character. is a nightmare, Shannon. What's this the What's tough. the Irish uh, person's name? The character or the person? Let's go both. Character first. The character is Tuk Talk. Tuk Talk. <laughs> yeah, you heard Tuk-talk. that. And yeah. uh, uh, the Irish Tuk Talk is played by what's this uh, enemy's name? What's uh? Abby. What's too, Abby. Abby. Uh, mm-hmm. We hate Abby. Yes, we okay, do. Okay, so Abby is an Irish uh, tube talk, and everybody yep. loves tube talk. I could listen to Jake yeah. pretend that he's got this <laughs> <laughs> the casual tube talk. Is, now, that, is he even saying it right? Is that is he saying it right? Uh, it, it is in a soft G. Okay, so it's more tube like talk. so it's more like a tube talk. She's the yes, Irish yeah, one, Tube Talk. Yeah, so Irish, it's, really. It's okay. Great. Now, and then Shannon, your mm-hmm. German is called, your yep. German character, what's your character's name? Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Okay. Sure. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina, <laughs> yes. Do you run your German accent by anybody before the first uh, game? No. You, it's an unveiling. What you do, what you do is, just like kind of panicked, watch a bunch of YouTube videos, right. and then you, you think, well, this some kind research. of so- yeah. I okay. I actually listened to several episodes of the Dalit podcast where there's a German character, and I was like, I'll try to do this. That's probably one of your early mistakes because if <laughs> you're do, it's a little like when you do an impression you saw someone do on SNL. You're doing mm-hmm. an impression of a pressure. You're, it's a copy of a copy. You're getting further mm-hmm. and further away from an origin source. So my German accent has been categorized as offensive or inaccurate. Um, <laughs> so, so the fact that you're doing that is is not a great start. But mm. but okay. So you did do some homework, which I like. Yes. And so when you create, so you do some homework, you feel confident in, you have found the voice of Vilamina. Yeah. You know her look, you get to the table, mm-hmm. Tube Talk is killing it. The, Absolutely crushing it. Everybody's frigging love. And let's be honest, Shannon, you wish mm-hmm. you could just strangle Abby's head <laughs> off. Yeah. You're hating Abby. Kill her, baby Shrek. Yeah, and her little Irish <laughs> accent. And her character, in your opinion, is weaker than Vilhelmina. Is this correct? Uh, 
This is correct. <laughs> okay. Jake, so <laughs> very leading stuff from Mr. Johnson, might I add. <laughs> the prosecuting well, attorney in the Villamina case. Shannon, am I out of line here if I said anything you disagree with? Uh well Talk to me. <laughs> Villamina could beat to talk in a fight. I do believe that because he is a goblin and he's three feet tall. In a fight, Vilamina would kill to talk. In yeah. it would yeah. kill to talk. In like uh, can, like I, can I just can I just say at the prom beginning king? of this call if I thought Jake was going to say Vilamina could kill to talk <laughs> in a fight, I would have been like, "This is call is going to be abnormal." Let me ask. Let me just say this, and I want to make it crystal clear. I hate tube talk. Thank you. Wow. I, Jake, I hate even, that little Jake, goblin three foot prom king. Jake, but listen, <laughs> first of all, it's part of our demographic are tiny goblins. You're blowing that up right now. So let me get back to you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. When did you introduce Vilamina's voice? Was this a week ago, a month ago, a year ago? Where are we at timeline? Three sessions ago. Okay. And when you first Freshish. did it, how was the uh, response from the others? I think I was saved by our one friend, absolutely just completely shitting the bed first thing. That's great. So yeah. all of the ridicule went to her. <laughs> she got one sentence in and called it a day. Fair. So great. that really saved me. Yeah. So yes. when I strolled in, like full German Muppet, it was like almost an afterthought. And so, I, I mean, yeah. we've got to hear it. Wait, we, we, will, we, we will, we will, we will, okay. we will. I'm just dying. I just, dying need, a little, I, here, I need a little bit okay. more backstory. All right, okay. So, You're the doctor. So, so you do the accent, and what's the one, what's the person's name with the uh, southern accent who failed? Rachel. Rachel. Sorry, Rachel. You're out. Failed. So <laughs> Rachel fails. Abby crushes, and you're somewhere crushes. in the middle. Yes. And so you, you've now done three sessions, and let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Villamina just ain't getting the attention that Villamina deserves. Is this what the call 100%. is about? So right now you're living in two in Tube Talks world, and yep. Villamina is just a weird German. <laughs> yep. You've really committed to a voice that maybe you're feeling a little embarrassed to be doing a whole accent when nobody's even giving Villamina attention. Is there any truth to this, Your Honor? It's less embarrassment. Because if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons already, you have to be beyond that to a certain extent. Much respect. Much well, respect. Tell that to Abby, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say there is there is a burning, seething jealousy, but that's, yes. you know. And so are you looking to have Vilhelmina take over the game? Do you want the feisty German to be the number one player? My My goal is not to be the main character. I don't okay. want to be like, the, you know, the chosen one or anything. My goal is to just have theater kid nerd clout. So I don't okay. want people, when people speak about this campaign, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. want them to think, man, Tube Talk was really great. I want them to say Tube Talk and Wilhelmina. Those, they were both really great. Understood. You want great. to get to Tube Talk's level. Yes. Well, great. I personally feel ready to hear Wilhelmina. Do you, Gareth? I'm I'm I am about to Venmo someone to get this accent. So Shannon, could you do us a favor? And there's one mm -hmm. thing about Gareth and I that we believe in a hundred percent, and that is, and I think you're gonna be just fine at this, but that's full commitment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is have Failure's no shame. Not Failure's yes. not an option. Can we get your best Vilamina delivering okay. something about the game? And I know it's weird you're on a call and but can you overly commit and give us the truth? And if you okay. need a couple sentences to kind of ramp into it, don't feel like we're just saying one line. You can give us a little, okay. you know, a few sentences here. Okay. Oh, boy. Um. Well, I guess I have to accept that this is going to be immortalized on the Internet forever, huh? Well... Listen, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you did call. I, I, nobody, I did. This was hey, I did. You know this what, was... Shannon? I'm tired of talking to Shannon. I would love to talk to Villamina. All right. <laughs> About Villamina, can you keep it in D&D &D language and game? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. My name is uh, Villamina Van Leijheber. I am a uh, medical student. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's excellent. Right from the beginning, it, it way would. better, way better it's than we expected. Way better than I thought. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. A, a medical student. Uh, 
Uh, my best friend, Tupac, I find him slightly insufferable, but uh, you have to admit his Irish accent is uh, quite exceptional. <laughs> so I got a note for you. First of all, yeah, yeah, bravo! Sure. You're so in, in every way. Way to go, Shannon. I know why you're not getting the attention you deserve, mm-hmm. and it's not that it's too muppety; it's mm. too subtle. Oh, you you know what you sound like? A real German woman in an office. What? I I feel like I'm in Berlin and I'm checking into someplace, and they say the doctor's ready for you, and I go in there, and she says. Your test results are fine. You have too much sodium. And I go, great. That's who I'm hearing, Vilamina. What I'm not hearing is Vilamina, the anti-Frankenstein. Oh. Gareth, okay. am I right here? Am I out of line, Gareth? It, it, no, you're not out of line. You normally are, but you're not out of line here. Here's the thing. You're a character, so you can mm-hmm. really character this up. Now, mm-hmm. was Rachel was the one who, who had the Southern failure? Yeah, Rachel yes. failed. She's the failure. Okay, so Rachel's gone. I I think that you maybe maybe that scarred you a little that you don't mm-hmm. you definitely have the field to play around a little bit. Those W's B and V's really going for some sort of version of Z. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I might be leading yes, you in a no, muppety but direction. I think, I think you're right, Gareth. Also, is there anything that Villamina would she ever yell a word? Hmm. Right? Is there anything that would go, and I don't have a German accent, but something of the, I am in the third grade. This is my time. I'm in the third grade. <laughs> yes. Now, <laughs> let me ask you a question, Shannon. Are we on mm-hmm. a line here, or deep down are you going, holy shit, Villamina is coming to life? And I want the truth on your answer. As someone who's really trying to embody that gay theater kid energy, I'm really Picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, because what you're yes. doing right now, in my opinion, can you give me a taste of a Tuptak, your best version of Tuptak? I just, do you have anything? Oh, can, God. I mean, you hear it all the time. It's in your fucking dreams. You think about Tuptak <laughs> probably 16 hours a day. We know you do, Shannon. So can you By the just way, get, that's, that's that's 30 on Jake saying Tuptak, just for those of you keeping track. <laughs> mm-hmm. So can you just give us a little taste of Tuptak's energy? Oh, God. Uh, oh, what are you guys doing over there? Yeah. Is that a fucking okay. owl bear? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Way more exciting. So I already liked, I like Tube Talk more than Villamina. You want to know what I wish Jesus. Villamina, and I'm going to tell you why, Shannon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because what Villamina should do is walk you on your way to meet the great Tube Talk. So if you get to the castle, Villamina can walk me to Tube Talk. So now can mm. we really quickly <laughs> pretend that Villamina is the star of the show? And how that might sound? Ooh. Go for it. This is a safe space, even though it's being recorded for broadcast. But Shannon, this is not the moment to be shy. This is the moment Mm -hmm. to be over the top. This is for us to go a little less. This is, you know, yeah, go for it. Okay. Even I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth right now. That's what we're hoping. That's what we like. God damn it. You know what's going to come out of your mouth is Villamina. There we go. (laughs) There we go. I don't want Shannon. I want <laughs> Delamina. All right, Jake. All right. Jesus. Put Shannon to bed and let Villamina mm-hmm. grab the sword. Villamina, uh, anything to say? Listen here, you fucking skeleton. I will send you back to the bowels of hell where you belong. You don't fucking move, you skeleton. You lay, you rot, you die. Villamina! That's great. That's great. It's great. Yes, but also, but even more. So here, I'm sorry, Gareth, I have to. I have to. Go, go. You're the director. And I know the next caller's here. I know we're, but Shannon. This is important. You are right there, but you need to put even more emphasis on certain words. So your emotion, your energy is right. Go nuts. Mm-hmm. His, Villamina is a maniac. Villamina mm-hmm. is the scariest of the land. So if you get too loud, let Tube Talk shake in his little three foot pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, that those pants would be the whole body. But no, I get the right. point. Fine, his foot and a half. What is Better. What your yeah, legs? Half the torso. Your? Yeah, uh, fine. His li- his inseams that are under two feet. I want Tube Talk shaken. So if there's a word that has meaning. Put a little mm. goddamn heat in it. Villamina ain't no joke. Villamina is not Shannon trying to be Villamina. You are not Villamina anymore. 
I got to tell you, Shannon, I've had enough of you, <laughs> but I am just meeting a wild German named Villamina. Mm. And the lo- the longer you think Shannon and Villamina are one thing, the longer we ain't playing D and D. So can I hear wow. can I hear a fired up Villamina, please? And can I hear something like scream at times, quiet at times? Let the accent what? get you know in in gray areas. Gareth, you got anything to add? Well, I was just gonna say what what Jake's saying is we want you to Willamean it. Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Collect yourself after a fantastic pun and then let her rip. F- Vilamina, here's what I'd like you to say. Vilamina, here's what okay. I'd like you to say. And I want you to yell words that you think you need, and I want as hot as you can get. Can you say, mm-hmm. we are here to help with Gareth and Jake as Vilamina? Okay. Okay. We are here to help with Gareth and Jake. What the fuck was the Jake? No, the Jake, I love it. I think, what, hold on, Jake, relax. I love it. I think it's great that it dropped off. Jake is, it's a tough word in any language. And I love that. Hold on. Um, hold, that on. hold on, Jake. You okay. had your time. All right. I think that's great. And let me tell you, I, I would say Scottish accent is among the ones that I'm proudest of. And how that started was my brother and I just said for a summer, we were only going to talk to each other in Scottish accents. So part of this is the path will sort of form in front of you. Keep going with the commitment level that Director Johnson has pushed you to do. And Mm. I think you'll find confidence is a lot of this. These are not German people you're sitting around a table with. These are fellow Indianians. So just stick with that, with that intensity. That's going to cover a lot of the tracks. I already found improvement, Jake. Me too, big time. Uh, I got to say... Uh, we think you're doing a great job. Uh, possibly, if it's possible, we would love to get you and uh, Tube Talk on this together in character. Yeah, let's settle the beef. This is we can do. People want Biggie and Tupac. We've got Vilamina and Tube Talk. So it, it, it's the fight of the year. We all know it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shannon. It's obviously, do you feel that we've helped you at all? And are you closer to understanding Vilamina? I feel like you've helped me in ways I didn't even know I needed to be helped. Well, that's, that's what this I goddamn feel. podcast is all that's, about. That's why thank we you do for this. thank you for the call, that's Shannon. We we'll talk to you really soon. Thank you, Shannon. All right, thank you very much. Bye now. Bye. We'll see you around. Okay, so there you go. That's our first call. We solved it. I don't think it's a huge spoiler to say, um, you know, as we kind of tease at the end of the call, that we're interested in getting further into this world, and um, and we plan to do that. Uh, <laughs> well, we do that. To say the least. <laughs> yeah, we do do that. And it's, it's pretty interesting. We don't know how far this one will go, but uh, we're enjoying it. And yeah, so that's basically what the show will be. We're, we're into the idea of really getting to interview the person with the problem Um, so that we can really kind of dig in and give the best, worst advice possible. But we need your calls for the show to work. You guys, the audience, are the engine. So please email with anything, helpfulpod at gmail.com. Regardless of your problem, just try it. We have our producer, Kevin, uh, who's the hunk of the show. He is currently in a tank top drinking chocolate milk. Normal stuff. So email that in. We are not looking to uh, get you or trick you. If you want your name bleeped out, we're happy to do that. Yeah. But please email us. It's been a lot of fun. We're excited to talk to you. And likewise, no fake stuff. We definitely this. We want real only real stuff. If it's because Jake is like a detective. He is like a bloodhound. He will figure out if it's bullshit. Scarf man. So actually, Kevin, cut all that because now you're challenging the audience. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I could see your faces Uh, were like. Well, all we would do then, if it was you and me, Garrett, is we would be like, let's just call and try to get past this stupid detective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The fat guy with a nose is pretending to be a detective. I know I'm smarter than him. (laughs) Big. Physically, you've gotten way too hard on yourself. I have to say, <laughs> the listeners are like the first line of defense is drinking chocolate milk. I think yeah. we're in the clear. I think we're in trouble. So, uh, yeah, tell everyone about this podcast. Listen to this podcast. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. And email us with any problems. We're excited to help you sort of solve it. Okay.
We're Here to Help is hosted by Jake Johnson and Gareth Reynolds. The show is produced and edited by Kevin Bartelt. The theme song is made by Oliver Raleigh, and you can check out all of his work at OliverRaleigh.com. The album artwork is by James Fosdyke. You can find him on Instagram at James underscore Fosdyke. And if you'd like to see me do stand up on the road, go to GarethReynolds.com. And if you would like to be on our show, please email us at helpfulpod at gmail.com. Okay.